Good morning. The two-year and the 10-year Treasury yields inverted for the first time since 2019 yesterday, sending a possible warning signal that a recession could be on the horizon. The two-year and 10-year inversion happened last in 2019 before pandemic lockdowns sent the global economy into a steep recession. Analyst firm Bespoke says when this happens, historically, there's a two-thirds chance of a recession within two years. Now, if you bought furniture at IKEA that you no longer want, the retailer will pay you to get it back. The Swedish furniture and home goods chain said it's making its buyback and resell program permanent across its 37 U.S. stores today after piling it last summer. Well, stocks slid on the final day of the month and the quarter. It was a head spinning three months for stocks, in fact, logging the worst quarter in two years. Well, the federal government's emergency rental assistance program helped prevent more than a million evictions last year. An estimated 1.36 million renters avoided an eviction filing last year as a result of the government's rent relief program and other protections. That's going to analysis by Princeton University's Eviction Lab. And Honda has found a way to address record high new and used car prices by selling very old cars. Honda and its luxury brand Acura are launching new certified pre-owned programs that cover vehicles up to 10 years old. Over 40 million used vehicles were sold in the U.S. last year. That was nearly three times the number of new vehicles. From the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King with your Morning Business Report.